It's spring in Columbus, which means it's scooter season. And this year, the number of those electric rides on our roadways will more than double. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Mark Taylor. I'm Colleen Marshall. The city has given the green light for the electric rides to several new companies. NBC4's Danielle Evitable is live now with what we're going to be seeing and what residents in the city have to say about all this. Danielle? And Colleen, as the weather starts to get warmer, you're going to start seeing a lot more people taking these electric scooters to get around. And with more than a thousand more hitting the street, a lot of people are for it, while some say they think it will cause safety issues. Jump and spin. Those are the new vendors that got the green light from the city to roll out with electric scooters and bikes. Another one named Rome is in the process to obtain its final permit. Each vendor is allowed up to 500 mobility devices, meaning 1,500 more than Columbus already has. Are you serious? So it's going to be overcrowded with scooters? I think it would be great. A lot more people would be out here together and just riding around having fun. The city can only give permits to eight vendors. With these three, there will now be five vendors, including Bird and Lime, which launched last fall. I mean, I guess it's a good way for people to get around. I guess it's good for the, it's the business. To put things into perspective, there are currently more than 879,000 people living in Columbus. And with 2,500 electric scooters and bikes hitting the streets, that means there will be one electric scooter or bike for every 350 people. I mean, it's probably good for the environment and helps the traffic if people are going to actually rely on that. Some people are worried the influx of electric rides will come with safety issues. Sheethal Patel tells me she watched someone get hit by a car while riding a scooter. And even while we were out in the area, we saw a woman on a bike almost get hit by a scooter. And our cameras were rolling when a driver almost struck someone on a scooter. I think they're cool. I think people have a lot of fun. I just think people need to be careful. I reached out to the city to see if any new regulations will come with the wave of electric rides and was told in part, quote, we will continue to evaluate and implement the best practices that fit the city and our residents. And these new rides will be hitting the street start summertime. Local for you in Columbus, Danielle Evitable, NBC4. All right, Danielle, thank you. Last year, Columbus City Council approved new laws for scooters and e-bikes. Some of the biggest ones, they can't be ridden on sidewalks. Neither can, uh, neither can be ridden on streets where speed limits are 35 an hour, miles an hour or more unless there's a bike lane. Now, they can't be driven more than 20 miles an hour, and they must have front and rear lights.